Welcome to this video demonstration of liquid culture method for diagnosis of tuberculosis. The most commonly used commercial system using liquid medium is the mycobacterial growth indicator tube system from Beckton and Dickinson commonly called as midget. It is a fully automated system using modified 7H9 medium. The system can hold a maximum of 960 tubes anytime and all tubes are measured by the system every hour and interpretation is based on software based detection system. Midget is useful for all types of samples except blood and urine. Let us now take a look at the preparation of the midget tubes for inoculation. Midget tubes are usually stored at a temperature of uh, 4 to 8 degrees. So, for raising a liquid culture the tubes have to be brought to room temperature and labeled properly. 0.8 ml of the antibiotic supplement Panta which consists of polymyxin B, amphotericin B, nalidixic acid, trimethoprim and azlozulin which are available in a lyophilized powder form has to be reconstituted with 15 ml of the growth supplement and addition of 0.5 ml of the decontaminated sputum deposit should be done. We shall now see the demonstration which is done in the biosafety level 3 laboratory. We have two deposits from decontaminated sputum specimen which have to be inoculated and two midget tubes have been brought out to room temperature. This vial contains panta in a lyophilized powder form. It is along with a lot number and expiry date. Now, this is reconstituted with 15 ml of the growth supplement that is provided along with the kit. So, after addition of the growth supplement the reconstituted banta is ready and 0.8 ml of this is added to the midget tubes. Using by safety precautions and an aerosol tip 0.8 ml is taken and is added to the midget tube. The tubes are now ready for inoculation. The decontaminated sputum deposit is mixed well by vortexing and 0.5 ml of the deposit is to be added to the tubes. Mixing well ensures that a uniform deposit is added to the tube. 0.5 ml is taken using a sterile pasture pipette up to the 0.5 mark and is carefully added to the midget tube. The pipette is discarded in the disinfectant bath. Now, once both the tubes are inoculated they are ready now for loading into the midget system. Before removing them from the biosafety hood, the external surfaces of the tubes have to be wiped with a disinfectant. This is the Bactec midget 960 system with a display screen that has user friendly icons. The system has 3 racks each capable of holding up to 320 tubes. one of the racks is pulled out and the insert button is pressed and the scanner is activated now. The barcoded tube is scanned and immediately the system indicates an empty slot with a flashing light where the tube has to be inserted and the rack is 
closed. Now, let us see how to unload and read the midget culture tubes that have completed the protocol. The screen display shows that in rack A, 8 tubes are positive and 3 tubes are negative. The tubes have to be removed for follow up action. The rack is open and the positive icon button is pressed. Immediately, the machine indicates all the tubes with positive reading with a flashing light. The tubes are removed one at a time and scanned. Once all the tubes are removed and scanned, the reading output is taken as a printout. Here we press the icon for printer and the reading is given as a printout. The barcode number on the printout is cross checked with that on the tube and the corresponding lab number is written on the printout. This tube has completed 15 days and 19 hours of protocol with 321 growth units. Once all the lab numbers are verified and entered, the cultures are subjected to identification and confirmation of growth. So, identification and micro of mycobacterium tuberculosis complex is essential whenever a tube is flagged positive by the instrument because as the instrument indicates only microbial growth, all cultures that are flashed positive by the midget instrument need to be identified for presence of MTBC. There are three tests that are done usually for confirmation. One is the AFB smear of the growth. This confirms presence of the acid fast bacilli and inoculation onto blood agar or brain heart infusion agar. This rules out contamination and the immunochromatography test. The test uses gold coated antibody to the mycobacterium tuberculosis complex specific antigen MPT64. The presence of antigen is indicated by development of color and an inbuilt control is present to eliminate false results. There are three items that are required for identification test. A clear slide for AFB staining, the brain heart infusion agar plate and the immunochromatography strip. Using a long aerosol tip, the growth is mixed well and a small portion is removed from the bottom. One drop is placed on the agar. A few more drops are placed on the well of the strip. And a third drop is placed on the slide. The drop is spread using the tip. and the smear is left inside the biosafety hood for air drying. We will now see the reaction in the ICT strip. The strip has gold coated MPT64 antigen. The antigen present in the culture that we placed on the disc moves up by capillary action and when it comes into contact with the antibody it results in the formation of a colored band in the test area. 
the inbuilt control has to be positive for the test result to be valid. The test is usually completed within minutes. ICT can be done only for culture and not directly for sputum. A culture is considered positive if AFB and ICT are positive. Let us look at the advantages and disadvantages of midget 960 for TB diagnosis. The advantages include that it can be done for diagnosis and DST to all drugs. Higher recovery rate is possible in sh a shorter time. Midget has a higher sensitivity than solid culture and growth supplements are added to enhance growth. The disadvantages include requirement of a biosafety level 3 facility which could be expensive because of high risk of aerosol generation. As I said it is already expensive, it requires a continuous power supply and air conditioning, it is prone for higher levels of contamination and there is a need for confirmatory tests like smear and ICT. With this we come to the end of the video demonstration on liquid culture for TB diagnosis. Thank you.